Gabby. And I'm Maddie. And, and we, we are Gabby and Maddie Maddie Music. <laughs> we are urban and pop girl group. I'm 15. And I'm 16. And, and we're, we're from Atlanta, Atlanta Georgia. Georgia. Okay, I like the <laughs> That's cute. Okay. Thank you. So, um, can you guys tell me, like, about your childhoods growing up? Like, Gabby, tell me about yours. Maddie, tell me about yours. Were you guys always musically inclined? Did you grow up around, you know, you know like, artists? You know, what sparked your interest for music? So definitely for me, I've been dancing since I was two. Like, in my mom's stomach, she said I was kicking way too much for her liking. Like, <laughs> I've just always had a passion for dancing and singing, especially watching Disney Channel growing up. Like, you watch the shows, I'm like, oh, my gosh, I want to do the same thing they're doing. So right. growing up, I definitely was doing dancing and singing. Okay. Same for me. I started off in, I started off doing modeling, and then I went to ballet for, like, six years, and then hip-hop, mm -hmm. but, like, I would always love, like, every time the award shows came on, any award show where it was just performing, I would love to watch the performances. So my mom would always tell me, like, all the Maddox performances are coming on. I would just rush through the room just to watch them. So I like, <laughs> always had a love for, like, being on stage and dancing and singing. And then we joined a an, an artist camp, like a, a training camp for us um, in Atlanta, Georgia. And that's where we were put together as a group. And then okay. we divided into what we are today. Okay. And so you guys said that you guys were put into a camp, you know, and then you formed the group. Uh, what was it like when you guys first met? You know, how did you guys build your bond? Because I know you guys probably weren't, didn't know each other off the back. So what was it like meeting each other and knowing that you guys had music in common? Well, she was already at the place. I'm not going to say the group, but she was already at the place. So I was the new one and I walked in and I was like super nervous. I was like eight, twenty nine, I think. So like really young. Okay. You know, like, when you're younger, you have a lot of confidence, but still mm -hmm. seeing new people, it was a little intimidating, and I walked in the class, and yeah. I saw her, and I think, like, the first day, they, like, put us together, we were in a room talking for hours, and we just saw each other every, every single day, and after a <laughs> while, we started building, start making memories, and new yeah. bonds. So, um, what genre of music would you guys consider your music? Like, I know you've re released different types of singles, so what genre of music would you guys consider your music? Definitely pop urban, but music for everyone. I know, like, people will be like, oh, you guys make music for little kids. Just like, no, like, everyone listens to music. So, like, right. whether you're older or younger, I feel like we just want to have music that inspires people. Okay. And can you guys describe yourselves as artists? Like, how would you describe yourselves as artists? We're definitely, like, huge performers. Like, when it comes to performing, that's our favorite thing ever. Like, when we go on tours, we do shows, school tours, all of that. We It's just something about being on stage, performing to a crowd that we just love. Like, that's our favorite thing to do. And definitely entertainers. Whether mm -hmm. it's acting, singing, dancing, we don't want to limit our options to anything. So, like, we love acting. Um, we did put out a pilot episode that we did, like, two years ago, just the pilot. But, like, we were just we did a whole episode based on a fandomonium. And people are like, oh, my gosh, you want a, another episode? But it's not coming. <laughs> but we do love all of the, everything that comes with entertaining. Oh, yeah. Okay. And so how long have you both been um, singing and entertaining for? This is going on our fifth year. You said 15? Fifth. <laughs> oh, fifth. Okay. Okay. So when you guys formed your friendship, what motivated you guys to form a group? Like, what was your inspiration? And how did it come about? So we were put into, like we said, a different girl group back in 2014. And then, you know, years by <laughs> things happen and people, they, they move on from things, but there's all still yeah. love there. Um, we did end up dividing from that group, me and her causing the duo that we are today. But um, we do love everyone from the situation that we did leave, there's still love there. People are still asking. Of course, there's still love there because we were in the group for a good minute. But um, yeah, we were in a previous girl group called Pink Heart and we left and became the duo that we are today. But that's how we kind of started, but we didn't know each other at first. Okay. Um, but that's how it started. So like we already had a friendship and everything when we did do the duo. So the energy and the, the friendship and everything that was, it was the same. Yeah. Okay. And so what made you guys decide to come out publicly as a duo after leaving the previous group? Because I know that might have been, you know, a little, I don't want to say tough, but I know it's yeah. different when you're leaving something that you're so familiar with. So what motivated you and inspired you guys to come out to the public as a duo? 
Yeah. First, I want to say it was very tough. It was a lot of like, as soon as something happens, especially leaving a group that you've been in your like whole childhood, basically rumors come up, people start saying stuff that's really not true. Like people think right. they know you and they really don't. Exactly. But how like our manager, King Dorian, he's so good. Like as like, he fixed all of our problems. It seemed like, like we can just talk to him. And also he lets us now we're in a situation where we can we have our own creative ability yeah mm -hmm. before we did not have much of that like it was really like do this do that but now we can choose the path we want to go yeah. which mm -hmm. made it more easier to transition when it's not like robotic yeah and, yeah